Top 10 reasons a magician tries never to marry a mermaid. Number 10. The mermaid's love is so perfect. She is such a huge part of you that you lose all desire to learn more. Number 9. It's annoying that she tells you of who you're going to meet in the future and she passes you messages from people who you once knew who are now dead. Number eight, when the mermaid walks through a shopping mall, people of both genders will stop to watch her walk by. And if she sits down, little children will come up to stare. Number seven, she doesn't really sleep at night. She is fully awake in her dreams, visiting people in various parts of the earth and talking to them in their dreams. In the day, she runs into friends and carries on the same conversation she had while she was dreaming. Number six. The mermaid tells you about your other self, who she meets on the astral plane, which is the real you the one you become in between incarnations. Number five, although totally loving, she does not need you or anyone. She always feels complete. And furthermore, her built-in truth detector is annoying. She gets goosebumps all over when something is true or right. Number four, if the mermaid is startled, electrical devices will turn on and off around her. And in an emergency, she is physically stronger than you. Number three, the mermaid can read and put thoughts in others' minds in order to change their bad habits, an ability you do not have. Number two, it's annoying that she never has a bad day. She never feels shame, she never is impatient, and she never loses her innocence. Number one. When you hold the mermaid in your arms, you sometimes cry because you can hear the songs the sea sings at night, which are unbearably sweet. <laughs>